Still on health matters, as the world marks World AIDS Day, joining me to discuss this is Senior Registrar at the Department of Community Health and Primary Care, Lagos University Teaching Hospital in Nigeria, Ganyu Jamu. Uh, good to have you join me this morning. Uh, while little has been heard of HIV and AIDS of recent, especially as uh, the world fights the COVID-19 pandemic, does this mean that the epidemic is lesser in importance or has fewer prevalence? Well, uh, I want to say is of lesser importance in the sense that we are yet to get a cure for it. Uh, and any uh, disease that does not have a cure is still, as far as we are concerned, in, the pub in public health. Uh, a, okay. As, as far as we are concerned in public health, um, is still very important until we are able to get a cure for it. And apart from that, we're looking at it in Nigeria again, the, in sub-Saharan African country, including Nigeria, the prevalence is still relatively high in Nigeria. For, for instance, the last, based on the last um, uh, eight indicator survey that was carried out in this country, we had, currently we have about 1.4% uh, uh, prevalence rate of HIV in the country. Um, having approximately about 2 million people that are still living with HIV, which is actually a very significant number. And if you listen very well again, about 1.8 people have died from the uh, epidemic. It's, it's an uh, epidemic anyway now, because it's not found in every part of the of the continent. So it has been controlled in some other part of the continent. But the burden is, is still relatively high in African countries, especially in South Africa, African countries, where many people are still are still dying from the uh, epidemic. So I think it's still very paramount until we're able to get a cure for it. Yes. Well, I, I think many donors, uh, uh, I understand, uh, have cut back their support. Uh, so perhaps uh, you want to tell us how it's been like uh, funding for uh, the a HIV and AIDS? Yes, actually, yeah, the fund, the, many partners have actually Court funding. I want to say many. Uh, there is some level of support, but if you feel remember, as I've said, the last survey that was carried out that was a relatively reduction in the prevalence. And what many donors are interested in is to see that the investments in any program is actually working. So realizing that the prevalence, the incidence is reducing the country, so they felt uh, there is need to or maybe that may have prompted why they are actually reducing. Uh, support for the pandemic uh, for the epidemic in the country but in, 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 uh, despite that i can still tell you we have many uh, key players that are still supporting the epidemic in the country not that they've actually gone i can mention the fhi i can mention um um uh, ap we have many of them so that it's it just that the support may vary from one part of uh, uh, from the other you know the idea of hiv is not is a kind of comprehensive package we have the preventive aspect, we have the treatment aspect, we have the testing aspect. So it depends on which other area we are looking at, looking into. But I still feel there are a lot of key players that are still supporting the response in this country. Yes. Now, maybe you speak to us about testing and stigmatization. Uh, how has it been within uh, the metropolis or the big cities, uh, especially in uh, Nigeria? Yeah, uh, uh, looking at uh, the theme for this year, which is uh, especially as released, uh, uh, related to Nigeria, talking about ending the uh, HIV pandemic, resilience and impact, uh, with focus on creating awareness and knowledge among the populace, as well as speaking out against stigma. Uh, in line with the global strategy for, for uh, eliminating, eradicating HIV by 2030, uh, it is paramount to actually, you know, Looking at the, the targets that talk about the 95, 95, 95 target, it is for us to be able to achieve uh, elimination of this uh, epidemic, that is for us to actually encourage people to go for more testing, because it's from testing you're able to know those that are actually positive, those that will need to be, you know, commence on antiretroviral uh, uh, treatment, and to be able to see how they're able to achieve uh, remarkable virus suppression. So without testing, you cannot know if it's positive or negative, and through that process, you will not be able to actually provide any form of uh, prevention or, or, or treatment services. So it's paramount. And the testing has been 
uh, relatively better compared to the previous years. Yeah, because what we do, we do what we call a kind of multi-point uh, testing strategy. Uh, and this process will be right to ensure that we are not losing out every, uh, missing out at all. So anywhere you go, whether at the tertiary, secondary, or primary healthcare centers, there are usually testing points where people can easily get access to it. So there will be multiple points where people can actually get this testing. Even primary care testing and so on are ongoing. So right. these are all available to see that uh, we, people know their status and they are, uh, uh, you know, through that process, for those that are found positive, can easily be, you know, you know, uh, 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 linked to care and treatment. You know, Dr. Ghani, Dr. Ghani, Dr. Ghani and Jamie, I'm afraid that yeah. we really have to go. Many thanks yeah. for, for spending time yeah. with us on yeah. this special uh, day of uh, World AIDS Day.